Hi guys, Ivan Susan back again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're going to compare a suburb called Padbury with a suburb called Hillary's. So we'll do one of these comparison suburbs. And we're over here at the Padbury Shopping Centre. It's just um, behind us over there. Not a big sh shopping centre, but um, it's got everything you need over there. The main tenants and IGA, which a lot of them in these smaller su in these su um, suburbs of Perth, the IGAs. Um, so Padbury is about 23 kilometres north of the Perth CBD and it's uh, got a population of just under 8,200 people and built on an area of about 6.1 uh, square kilometres guys. So a fairly old suburb. So um, like I said we're comparing it with Hillary's so we'll walk around Padbury first and then we'll head into Hillary's and show you around there also and do a bit of a comparison. So um, this is just the road in front of the shopping centre over here called Warburton Ro um, Road or Avenue and um, fairly old houses over here guys. Dates back to the 1970s the suburb. So the suburb's got a lot of parks in it. There's 18 parks in the suburb. But you can see this house here, that's all been rendered on the, on the front over there. But you can see the back, the brickwork holding up the carport there. That's just plain brick. And the side there, that's just plain brick. So that would have been the colour of that old house. But they've tried to modernise that a little bit by uh, rendering the front and then painting it. And um, it has brought it up a little bit to a nice modern look. But like I said, this suburb goes back to the 1970s. So, um, reasonably old suburb. The suburb is actually the suburb was actually named in 1971 after a notable Western Australian settler by the name of Walter Padbury. And there's a Walter Padbury Boulevard in the area named after him also. Perhaps we should have taken you down that road, but it doesn't matter. There's, um, South Padbury Primary School across there. There's actually four primary schools in this area from what my um, sources tell me. So um, guys, quite an old suburb. You can see the houses. Um, to be honest, they're not that well kept, to be brutally honest with you. Um, doesn't look like many people have actually um, maintained their houses very well here. That, even that primary school across there looks fairly um, old probably been there since since the 1970s also yes um, it's mostly above ground power in this area also when uh, in say, when I say mostly I can see a street um, a street light over there that um, silver one and that's underground for some reason um, but the rest of it is above ground what, from what I can see so I don't know how that one snuck in over there but that does look a bit odd because you can see the the power posts over here they're all timber power posts and that one there's a um, 
a metal one. So it's a bit odd, that one. I don't know how he got in there. But anyway, we'll turn down this street up here and have a look at one of these side streets. Take you into the inner sanctions of Padbury and show you what it's all about. The suburb has um, undergone a bit of um, a price surge in recent years. In the last five years or so, there's been a lot of talk about the suburb. Um, and all positive, by the way. But, um, yeah, people need to um, start maintaining their houses. Because a lot of it's... Um, look at this wall over here, guys. It's retaining wall. It's, it's about to collapse. It's got huge cracks going down. You can see this big crack over here. That one there is um, pushing out. Lady's just come out and uh, stopped her dog from barking. It's only a tiny little thing, but it's got a bit of a bark on it. Now look at this house here, guys. This one here has been maintained very nicely. You see the lawns and that, the gardens, the actual house, everything's nice and neat. And um, so is the one next door. It's quite neat also. It's an old house dating back to the set. This is typical of 1970s style house here. But you can see how neat it is across the road also there. So guys, there's a, there's a new house over here. Been built, or just been built. It's finished now. People have moved into it. So, um, I, don't know what, I don't know if they've demolished an old one or they found a vacant block of land over here and uh, built their new house on it. Yeah, look at this guys, this um, gardens over here, they had a very low maintenance. That's all um, artificial turf up there and then you've got a bit of gravel and stuff. So that's very well kept, that house. And then you've got this one here. It's um, not well kept at all. So your typical older suburb. That um, this guy's reversing, so I better move a bit faster, yeah? Then get knocked down. So guys, schooling-wise, like I said before, there's four primary schools in this area and only one high school. Sorry, the high school actually closed down, guys. It was called, called uh, Padbury Senior High School, but that ceased operations in 2011. So there's only primary schools in this area for your high school needs. We'll uh, go left over here and check out this. There's, there's a little park over there. I don't know. It doesn't look like a, much of a park. Not even mowed. The lawn isn't even mowed properly, so it doesn't look very good at all. don't know why they've allocated that over there. Here's your typical 1970s style house again, yeah? But also very, very well maintained, very neat. Guys out there pruning his roses and that, uh, um, or lady, he's get, she's getting into it. And the guy across the road, he's um, doing some spraying, spraying the weeds in his lawn. So some of the there's another house here, guys, that's been rendered and painted in the front because they would have typically had. Um, that dark brick that you can see on the next house. So they've um, tried to modernise their house by um, rendering the front and painting it nicely. The 
The lawn's all been made nice here, but it's dead. Everything's dead. Uh, needs a little bit of water. So as we make our way through the suburb of Padbury in Perth, Western Australia, on a um, pleasant day here in Perth today, a bit blowy, because Padbury is um, reasonably uh, close to the to the coast. And like I said, we're going to compare Padbury to a suburb that is on the coast called Hillary's. And see those three palm trees there, guys. They look quite good. They've probably been there since that house was being built, because those things take a long time to grow. Um, so you'd probably that height. It'd probably take, I don't know, 15 years probably to get to that height, and it's not that tall. And here's one over here. That one's quite tall. I think they call a cotton palm, those ones. Well, guys, I guess you want to know the median house price in this area. Um, my executive producer wasn't very impressed with the area. No, they might, to be honest. But the median house price in this area is 700,000 Australian dollars, guys. 700,000 Australian dollars. Yes, you heard correct. And um, the median unit price in this area is 485,000 Australian dollars. And the median land price is 301,000 Australian dollars. Uh, look at this here, yeah, they've, um, yeah, they've tried to do a few things here by slapping a bit of strange type mortar on the walls on either side there and then leaving the dark brick. It didn't really work out in my opinion. This one, they would have been better off doing what these people have done here. Doesn't that look much neater? I've also noticed guys, the typical of the day over here, the house, the house, the roof pitches in this area are very low. As you can see, they're extremely low. These days they've got much more of a pitch to them. Now look at the, this is all above ground power here guys. This is what you've got over here in front of your house. That's, that's not very good. And you've got wires going everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, above, above ground. There's another park across there. So this is this is what they call the parks in the area. They're not very um, good in my opinion. It's just a little bit of vacant land splattered here, there, and everywhere. There's, there you can see a few little play playing areas there, and that's about it. The lawn isn't mowed very good. It's not well kept. And look at this house here on the. That's a. That's your typical 1970s. It's a shocker. That's got the clinker brick in it, that real dark brick that's a bit rough on the outside. And look at those awnings. They've seen better days. Here you've got that rough um, texture again on the wall in the house over here, which I must say I'm not a fan of, guys. So anyway, um, the cheapest house that we've seen in the suburb and it's um, only a three bedroom, two bathroom and two car garage. It's on a very small block guys, it's on 313 square meter block and it's on the market for 600,000 Australian dollars. And um, there wasn't much more on the market in this area because Believe it or not, guys, it is a very popular area. Um, I don't know if it's been popularized by hype, real estate hype, or if it has actually, because I wouldn't pay 600K for a house in this area, me personally, that's my own personal view. You know, have a look at this house here, guys. That, that, that roof needs a new roof on there. There's actually thick moss growing in the gutters and that. So, um, 
that doesn't look too good. The fence is even in bad shape over here. Anyway, guys, that's um, that's about it for Padbury, I guess. Um, we might head into Hillary's now and show you guys around there and do a comparison of the suburb, of the two suburbs. So we'll see you in Hillary's. Okay, guys, we've arrived in the suburb of Hillary's that we're comparing with Padbury. So over here is the Hillary Shopping Centre. And it's a funny little shopping centre because you can't see it from the road. It's um, built down. You can see the steps going down there, quite a, a lot of steps going down. And then in front of it over here um, is a row of, um, these are all olive trees over here. So the shopping centre is actually hidden from the, um, from the road and from those houses across the road. Now Hillary's is um, about 21 kilometres north of the Perth CBD. It's a coastal suburb and there's about 10,800 people in the suburb built over an area of 6.3 square kilometres. So quite a few more extra residents here than the suburb we're comparing it to. And I think it's built over about the same amount of kilometres, um, which is Padbury. Hillary's seems a more opulent type suburb because it is coastal. There are smaller houses in the area, of course, and older houses. So uh, the suburb was actually named after an early settler called Bertram John Hillary. And his occupation was as a fisherman in the area. How cool is that? The suburb was actually gazetted in 1971, guys. And the major attraction in the area is um, the Hillary's Boat Harbour and Sorrento Keys, which we actually done a, a video on for you guys. And we will link it to this one. Here we go, yeah, guys, this is the name of the shopping centre over here. Hillary's Shopping Centre. And that's virtually all you can see of it because it's sunk right down. And uh, there's some, it's an interesting little shopping centre. It's, it's quite good actually. They've got a lot of little pathways meandering through the shopping centre. And the main tenant in there is a grocery store called Coles. And uh, there's a nice little cafe in there. Never ever been in there, but the food smelled really nice. Um, we couldn't actually film in there, guys, because there's a lot of music playing in there. So um, we'll just take a walk down a few of the streets over here in Hillary's and uh, show you guys around. There's a looks like some sort of renovation going on across the road there because they got that big uh, bin in the front there with all the rubbish and stuff. Hey guys, like, uh, so like I said, um, uh, the suburb was gazetted in 1971. So there'll be a mixture of um, large and small houses. There's actually a police station here. Smack bang in the middle of it all, next to the shopping centre. Didn't realise that. There's the shopping centre there. That's the main tenant, Coles, over there. So, um, yeah, like I said, this place was gazetted in 1971 and there'd be a mixture of um, small and large houses. We shall point out a few of the small ones. There's a couple of here, actually. The smaller, older style houses there. The 1980s style house, houses over there. And um, there's a few, there's a laneway here called Flinders Lane. Just over here. And uh, a few, looks like a nice little lane with some nice, nice houses there. So these will be, these will be, um, some of them will be the backs of people's houses there. So you'll get the garages, you'll just drive down that laneway and you'll, your garage will be there. 
and the front of the house will be on the other side. So it's obviously built on smaller, smaller, longer blocks and those houses will take up most of the block of land. So guys, here's, here's one of the smaller type houses in Hillary's. And then right across the road there, you've got a quite a decent big house there. How about a smaller one here on the corner? So it's a suburb that's um, got quite a mixture of housing options through here. Now the Sorrento Key area, like we talked about before, that's got a that's a a crowd pleaser, so to speak, because there's always a hell of a lot of um, people down there enjoying the many bars, restaurants, nightclubs. There's one nightclub in there, shopping facilities. There's also accommodation there at Hillary's um, Sorrento Key area. So it's quite a good little spot, like I said, we will link it to this video. There's a, um, at the Hillary's Boat Harbour guys, there's also an aquarium type setup over there called Aqua, A-Q-W-A. And um, it's actually the large, I don't know if this is true, I reckon it's actually the largest um, aquarium in Australia and the tenth largest in the world. It holds over four million litres of water. So it's quite an interesting thing. It's like a conveyor belt type set up from memory. I've only been there once a long time ago. And you stand on this conveyor belt and it takes you under under the water. You can see all the fish and that swimming around and the coral and all that type of stuff. So it's quite an interesting spot. So I don't know if that's true about it being the largest in Australia, but anyway, that's the research that I've done and that's what I came up with. If you guys know any more about that, let us know in the comments below, guys. So um, there's, schooling-wise, there's only one local primary school, yeah, and one local high school in the suburb. And there's a bus service running to the Warwick and Whitford's train stations over here. So the train is reasonably close by. And also if you want major shopping, Whitford Sh City Shopping Centre is the place to go to. Some beautiful houses along here, guys. As you can see, we come to a little cul-de-sac here, so we'll spin around. Hi uh, guys, so you can see over here, there's also a few older style houses over here. We've, we've taken you into the middle of the suburb, so we haven't actually gone on the beachfront, because that, those are all the mansions over there, all the flasher houses, and you might not get a, a sort of um, proper perspective of the area. So we thought we'd do this to compare, because we are comparing, comparing it to Padbury. So in saying that guys, the most expensive house in this area that I saw listed was a five bedroom, four bathroom, four car garage house on a 700 square metre block. It's a pretty big house guys, the internal living area, that's just the areas in the house where you actually live in, like your bedrooms, kitchen, uh, lounge, all that type of thing, is 649 square metres and the total area That'll include your, your porch area, your alfresco area, your garage and all that. Um, plus your living, that all, it's all included. So the total area of the house is 822 square metres. It's a massive house. So they're asking for that house, they're asking in the four millions for that house. Here's a, here's a building site over here, a couple of houses going up there, there's two, so it was a big block and they subdivided that, they're going to put two houses on there, probably two double stories to give you, because the blocks aren't very big, 
and when they've after they subdivided it. And guys, the cheapest house in this area of Hillary's is 779,000, and that's only a three bedroom, one bathroom, one car garage. And that's on a decent sized block though. It's on a 739 square metre block. So that is the, giving you a bit of a rundown there on the most expensive house in the area and the cheapest house in the area. So now we get to the interesting part over here, the comparison part of these two suburbs. Hillary's and Padbury and um, the difference in the median house price is 400,000 Australian dollars and the difference in the unit price is 142,500 Australian dollars and the difference in the land price is 208,500 dollars with Padbury being the cheapest of the two suburbs, guys. And that didn't surprise me. I'm surprised at the median house price of Padbury. It's quite expensive for the suburb, which I don't think was that good, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's um, how it's gone. Yeah, in Perth, house prices have gone a bit wobbly but bit um, strange in the last few years. I guess we are just catching up to the east coast of Australia because our prices here in Perth have been relatively low over the years and now we're catching up. So if you want to buy a house or you're interested in buying a house in Perth, Western Australia, it's probably time to act now because, um, I don't know, they. It's a funny old thing, they are predicting house prices are going up again next year by quite a bit. I think I read 13%, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's quite a big hike. Something has to give, in my opinion. But anyway, if you're thinking of buying a house um, and you can make 13%, why not go for it? Anyway, guys, we might wrap it up over here on the two suburbs, the comparison suburbs of Hillary's and um, and Padbury. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe guys and um, we'll see you in the next one.